Hello, I'm Matthias Meister, support trainer at Surfers based in Germany. This video is about our anti-malware app for mobile devices like smartphones and tablets. Surfers Intercept X for mobile protects users, their mobile devices and the data stored on them from known and unknown threats. The last is made possible by integrating our market-leading Intercept X deep learning technology already proven on PCs and servers. In this video I will show you how to install and use Sophos Intercept X for mobile using my Android smartphone as an example. For private users Sophos Intercept X for mobile is available free of charge with its full functionality. Companies can centrally manage the features shown in this video via Surface Central Mobile or Surface Mobile on premise. If it is a smartphone that is not managed by Surface Mobile, installation will begin in the Play Store and the user can configure the app locally as desired. So I start the Google Play Store app and search for Sophos. Here we have Sophos Intercept X for mobile and I tap on install. How long it takes to download and install depends on my internet connection and the phone speed. Now that we have the app installed I tap on open I start by reading the legal information about using the app and then tap accept and continue. I leave the slider down here at on so that the app can send anonymized data to Sophos which can help to improve the app. Next I need to allow Sophos Intercept X for mobile to access the storage on my smartphone so that it can detect and remove malicious code in case of an incident. So I tap allow and then allow access to my files. To allow the app to monitor all actions on the phone in the background and strike in case of a malicious incident, I need to allow the app to remain permanently active in the background. To do this, I tap Stay Protected and then tap Allow and this will stop the optimization of the battery consumption for this application only. Access to usage data of the device must also be granted. To ensure that malicious code cannot be executed and protected apps ask for password, which we will define later. So first I tap on Permit and then swipe down to select Surface Intercept X for mobile and allow usage tracking here. Finally, I must allow the app to be displayed over other apps and then we start the app for the very first time. Now it will take some time for Surface Intercept X for mobile to scan the entire smartphone memory and if available the inserted memory card for malicious code. How long this takes depends on the speed of the phone and the amount of data stored on it. On my phone with 128GB internal memory and an inserted SD card of the same size filled up to 85% with music, photos and videos, the initial scan takes about 5 minutes. Also this time I cut out now. Especially for this video I downloaded previously test and demo apps to my smartphone which are not really malicious but are detected as such. One could also speak of test viruses. As a result the device is now considered unsafe. So let's take a look. In fact two malicious and two potentially unwanted apps were detected. We can see this by the red field with the exclamation mark. 
In the list here we see exactly what they are. We could now read more details in the browser once I open the information about this suspicious app. But this video should not be too long and therefore I remove the first malicious app by tapping delete. On the second one let's have a look. The browser opens a page from Sophos Labs and here I could read more details. But I leave that for now and go back to the app where I delete the second malicious app. Now I continue with the two potentially unwanted apps. They are called that because, for example, they send data to third parties without the user's consent. Here it is not so easy as with malicious apps. Maybe I would like to accept this and want to continue using the app anyway. However, I want to know more about this and therefore I tap on Show details in browser. So I've sent again to the Surface Lab page and I can read more on that. Now that I know that I don't want both apps on my smartphone after all, I delete both. Now my smartphone is shown as clean. No further problems were found by Surface Intercept X for mobile and I can now focus on the other features. One small note by the way, of course the protection app is still active in the background and any malicious action would be reported immediately. What else do we have? If I tap on device security, all information about the device is displayed and if anything was critical, I would find out about it here. On my smartphone for example, Bluetooth is always on but I want it to be and this one floor is acceptable for the app because the device as such is still sufficiently secure. Let's have a look at the network security. Web filtering for example is a really great thing. Here I can define what I want to see on the internet and what I don't want to see. But first I must switch on the web filter. Here's a small side note. If the device was managed by Sophos Mobile, an administrator could define this centrally. Since this is not the case on my device, I turn on the Sophos Accessibility Service just from here. And then I define what I want to see in the browser in the future and what not. I do this more or less randomly now and later we will see what this does. In WhatsApp messages, in emails or in social media you often find links that don't tell you exactly which page they lead to. If I activate the link checker here it will be different in the future. It will be able to use Office Labs live data to check each link for malicious or inappropriate content before it is opened and before it is allowed or prohibited to be displayed in the browser. I enable it and it will apply to Chrome on my smartphone. This means that when I tap a link in WhatsApp in future for example, it will be checked first and only if the page behind it is ok, it will open in Chrome. I can also have Sophos Intercept X for mobile check the security of a Wi-Fi in real time for man-in-the-middle attacks. For this the app must be able to access the location of the device. I allow this by tapping Always Allow and then I check my own Wi-Fi. As expected, 
I can trust it without any doubt. What else does Sophos Intercept X for Mobile offer? Let's start at the top and look at the Authenticator for managing one-time passwords. Here I can see one-time passwords in future that I can use for multi-factor authentication at Amazon for example or at my online bank. I haven't configured any yet, but I'll come back to this later. Also, my password safe is not configured yet. Nowadays, I'm always supposed to use a different secure password for all the services on the Internet that I use, but how do I remember them all? Intercept X for mobile can help. How exactly? We will also see later. What I can use almost right from the start is the secure QR code scanner. QR codes can be found everywhere these days. But who can guarantee that the QR code on an advertising space in the subway, for example, has not been pasted over by someone? Once again, because I am interested in an upcoming concert and my browser shows the faked side of a hacker. With the app this doesn't happen anymore. As soon as I allow Sophos Intercept X for mobile to take pictures, with the smartphone built-in camera, I can scan QR codes at will and I am immediately warned if the QR code is not clean. I prepared this here on my screen. Behind this, for example, was a link to a malware code test page from Surface Labs. We do not want to open this one. On the other hand, the web filter we configured earlier would also work anyway and block this page. So I tap on Abort and I try with another QR code. And look, behind this QR code we have just a nice harmless text. Now I come back to the Authenticator and Password Save features mentioned earlier. To keep this video not too long, I have already prepared backups for both, which I now simply restore. So first I restore my Sophos Intercept X for mobile settings. I need to enter a password that I'm not showing here. And now my backup opens and I can restore settings for the scanner for web filtering. But my intention here is only to restore my authenticator settings. Now that I have my settings restored, I can open the authenticator again and I see my one-time passwords for Sophos Central, Amazon and Google. I also have a password safe prepared that I'm now restoring. By the way, that password file is KeePass compatible. So I go on password safe and I import my prepared password safe file. Again, I have to enter my password that I'm not showing here and I have the option to allow fingerprint login. Here we go. Password entered and I tap on Authorize. And now I must do some tricks for the video. For security reason, the app does not allow me to take any screenshot of my password file or film it as I'm currently doing here. So I have to show a screenshot. This is what it would be like when I open the password safe on my smartphone. Now let's take a look at two more features, the app protection and the privacy advisor. First, the app protection. This is a great thing because with this I can assign a password to all apps that don't have this feature by default. I configure this now using my SMS app as an example. First I have to set 
Sophos Intercept X as a so-called device administrator. And then I define an authentication type and that is at first a pattern. If I now enable fingerprint authentication and then enable the SMS app, I should be able in future to start my SMS app and it asks me for authentication. Here we go. My SMS app is now protected by my fingerprint. So I have to present my fingerprint to unlock this app. True, SMS are a little out of fashion, but the type of configuration is the same for every app. If you always wanted a clear listing of all apps on your smartphone with all assigned permissions, then the Privacy Advisor is exactly what you need. Here we can check out, for example, what WhatsApp is allowed to do on a smartphone. This is a list of all permissions that are granted for WhatsApp. This list is quite long and so I'm just swiping through it because we are almost at the end of this video. Before that I will show you quickly that I can also store the most frequently used features of the app as a shortcut on the home screen. Doing this here. This way I can get to it faster if I need a one-time password, don't remember a certain password or I want to scan QR codes quickly. Here we go, we have now the shortcuts on the desktop and if I for instance need a one-time code, I just click on it right here, password safe and QR code scanner. With Sophos Intercept X for mobile installed on my smartphone, I have now a smartphone protected against malicious code that can generate one-time passwords, securely store my passwords and check QR codes before they do any damage. I can also secure certain apps with a password and the browser will only display uncritical web pages. To check the last of these, we will go back to a Sophos test page and see what happens if I try to open a page that is restricted or blocked in the web filter or contains malicious code. That's sophostest.com. So if I try to open something that is on the blacklist, I cannot open it. But pages that are not on the list or on the worn list, they can be opened according to the settings in the web filter. Finally, I like to point out that everything we have seen in this video can also be centrally managed by Sophos Mobile. In addition, information about the security status of the device can also be reported to Microsoft Intune. But these are features of Sophos Intercept X for Mobile that are more likely to be of interest to companies. Thank you very much for watching this video.